with these LED lights, between the four of them, it's 125 watts total. So they're very efficient. They're tuned to white light, so that way we can tolerate them. And it's actually the spectrum three reds to one blue. So it's full spectrum for growing our leafy greens and herbs year round. Uh, costs about $3 a month to run, so it's not expensive at all. Remember, when you plug the lights in, they need to be right into the outlet. Don't plug them into the other timer that comes with the pump, but go right to the outlet in your house. So it's directly plugged into your outlet. It's so important because you don't want your lights going on and off with the pump. I've had that question. People have, ha have called me and said, hey, why are my plants getting long and leggy? It's because they have it plugged in to the pump timer and it's turning on and off. Very important. Um, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, but again, we all have different perspectives. So make sure when you plug your lights in that this white extension cord here goes directly in to the electrical outlet. And that way, this timer will then run these lights separately. I get a lot of questions about how to program this thing, uh, how to program the uh, LED lights. So we're excited because these LED lights are very efficient. And again, we have them on 18 hours. So we have this coming on at 6 a.m. So each little toggle switch here is 15 minutes. So it's 15 minute increments. You can see we're on at 6 a.m. And we go off at midnight. So we're on 18 hours for maximum exposure for our, our plants to, to really grow for us. And then we're off from midnight to 6 a.m. This is the timer position here. And then this is in the on position. So say you want them on all the time. This little arrow here is the actual time that it is in, a, in your house. So you can just turn it to the right and you'll see where the, you know, since we have it in the timer position, or I'm sorry, since we have it in the on position, it doesn't turn off. If we put it back into the timer position, as soon as we hit midnight here, it turns off. You can see, you know, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and then it turns on at 6 a.m. Our current time here is right around 10 o'clock in the morning. We have it in the timer position, and we're on from 6 a.m. all the way till midnight. Now, if that doesn't work for you, say you're in the, in the breakfast uh, area from 6 to 7, go ahead and just turn those off. So that way, if it's too bright for you, and uh, when you know you're not gonna be in there, you know, that's work. You know, we want the maximum growth, and that's 18 hours of light, six hours off. But if that doesn't work for you, you know, make it work for your household. So again, create a, a time and schedule that works. I mean, if you have to have them on and off a few times throughout the day, that's great. So make it work for your schedule. But again, you can just get some beautiful growing produce here. I mean, this is one of our uh, uh, herb towers here that we have that we use for cooking. You've got some beautiful uh, rosemary here, you know, some sorrel, different plants, some basil that's overgrown. We need to harvest this, make some pesto. People ask me all the time, how do you get this nice little curvature when they're setting their lights up? You can take like another, you know, pot like this or something that's say nine inches in diameter, and then you can just take it and, and, and roll it around it. That way you get that nice little curve. Also, when we're looking at our lights, you're having it six to eight inches away, so as your plants grow out, as your plants hit the lights, then we know we need to start harvesting these things. But again, you, you know, try to get on the outside of the tower here. The closer you have it, the more that those plants are just gonna love that. Um, so that's one hint. This shower cap that's right here, this, uh, these lights are designed to sit right on top of it. So there's nothing uh, holding it on, but the, the gravity pulling it down. So when you go to take this off, you just lift up and it just comes right off that. You don't have to undo these screws here. It's just literally sitting on top of the shower cap. So it's a great design, very simple. Again, these are um, full spectrum lights, so they work great uh, when you're really trying to grow good, nutritionally dense food. So we're excited about the lights. This is definitely something brand new compared to the old lights. There's been a lot of questions, should I upgrade? You know, if you can afford to upgrade, we'd encourage you to do it. And uh, you'll see your, your produce, your leafy greens, exp uh, you know, respond to the lights as well. I have some people that say, gosh, why can't I just run the lights 24 hours a day? The plants need to have some downtime. Just like you and I, we grow at night. Our plants grow at night too. So having six hours off, at nighttime or whenever you determine it's gonna be night for them, that helps them grow. So it's important that you give them at least six hours off 
uh, of darkness throughout the day. Another question I get is, can I use these lights outdoors? They're actually UL listed for indoor use only. So it's important that you keep them indoors. That's the great thing about utilizing, utilizing these lights is to have the LEDs indoors and that way we're replacing the actual natural sun. So yes, indoor use only, not outdoor use. So have fun outdoor. You've got the beautiful sun out there. Use the sun outdoors and our beautiful lights indoors.